Good morning. It is so good to see you all this morning. I am joined by my dear friend, uh, Pastor Archie Brown. How you doing, Pastor Brown? Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. This is an awesome opportunity, so thank you so much for having us. Hey, I'm glad that you agreed to come on with us, man. Right now, um, well, thank God y'all avoid the uh, Hurricane Sally. Yes. Um, yes. That's a good thing. Yes. But now you're yes. balancing church, you're balancing school and family life. Tell me, how, how, Pastor Brown, how are you keeping it all together? Well, <laughs> uh, Minister Kittenbrew, it, it's a challenge. I say it's a challenge. It's a, a daily challenge because... Uh, we have so much we want to put our heart into. Mm -hmm. uh, when I when I talk about schooling, because I, I have a kindergarten, I teach kindergartners, I want to give them my very best. And of course, when I think about uh, the Word of God, I want to give that my very best, the pastor. So all these things, if, if, if you're not careful, uh, it take a toll on you. So I try my yeah. best to uh, have some personal time in the morning when I get up early, have some personal time, quiet time with God. Uh, I, I ask for help. Uh, I ask for help sometimes with Bible lessons or with preaching. I ask for help, and that that really helps me. And then, of course, my family supports me a great deal uh, when I'm doing the Zoom and then doing the computer stuff. So the Brown helps out, the boys help out. So I'm I'm very fortunate to have some um, some some support. Wow, wow! I think you said the key word, man: support and help. Yeah, that's the only way we keep things going. And we got, we listen. We got a great lesson this week. It is entitled "Victorious Love." All right. Victorious love, and we're looking at the lesson focuses love desires evidence of repentance mm -hmm. before reconciliation. Yes. And it's coming from Genesis chapter 42, 6 through 17, and then uh, 18 through 25. I'm gonna look at something in the first outline, okay. then I'm gonna turn it over to you, Pastor Brown. Is that cool? Oh, good. That's, that's fine. Thank you. The first outline says this Joseph accuses his brothers of spying. And here's the thing, and I know I'm going to kind of look back from last week, but right, I, I got to right, bring right. out this point that's so important. And in, in verse 8, it says, well, let me go back. In verse 7, it says, where do you come from? Mm -hmm. He asked, and I'm reading the NIV, from the land yeah, of Canaan, yeah. they replied to buy food. In verse 8, it says, although Joseph recognized his brothers, they right. did not recognize him. And yeah. I just want to point out Joseph's heart right here. Okay. Because he could have shut them down right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He could have oh, shut yeah. them down. He said, I know who y'all. They didn't recognize him. He <laughs> right, knew who right. they. He could have lived in his pain. He could have lived in his misery. He could have held that grudge. But beyond all that, Amen. Amen. he still was willing to help them. Amen. Amen. Even though he could have shut it down. And I think sometimes in our Christian lives, now let's be honest, mm -hmm. yeah. bad things going to yeah. happen to everybody. Exactly. Somebody exactly. going to lie on you. Somebody going to talk about you. Somebody, something's going to happen. That's going right? to happen. But God yeah. has an interesting way to check your heart. Mm -hmm. To okay. see if okay. when it comes around to help them, will you Right. Help? Right. Regardless right. of what they did to you. And right. Joseph, I think, I mean, takes a big step. And I love those. Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. Meaning, they at that point, they they didn't know who they were talking to. <laughs> Joseph knew exactly who right. he was talking to. Right. And yeah. I think this one verse shows his willingness to forgive right. even before they said they were sorry. Wow. And as a Christian, I think that sometimes we have to be willing to say, you know what, I'm going to let it go. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. they even say, I'm yeah. sorry. And it goes through and it tells how, you know, he allowed them to get food and then they <laughs> set him up and uh, for them to come back because they he wanted to see his brothers, he wanted to see right, his family. Right, right. And the thing that, I, there's still a love for family. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There was still oh, yeah. a love for family. Oh, yeah. He could have been like, just give him something to get him out of here. <laughs> no, he was like, man, he, he inquired and wanted to know how his dad yeah. was doing. Yeah. He wanted yeah. to know how they were yeah. doing. And I think that that was a work God did in his heart Amen. Amen. before Amen. that time came. Pastor Brown, I'm going to get out your way, man, because I know you're ready <laughs> to jump on in. So even that first, second outline, just tell me in this lesson, what stood out to you, Pastor? Yeah, this was, this was a, a, a challenging lesson. Because I always like to look at titles and try to give me like a little preview of what I'm going to get into. And when I when I saw the the title, Victorious Love, that kind of tripped me up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I thought about what, what kind of spoke to me was this was like uh, really 
a surprise family reunion. Yes, sir. I, yes, I don't sir. think I don't think in their wildest dreams those brothers could imagine we're gonna see our brother Joe. When we saw the slavery, wow. they might they might have thought we're gonna see him on the side of the road, you know, being a slave. Mm -hmm. But th this is out uh, their wildest dream. They'll find their brother Joseph in that seat of the second most important person in all of Egypt. Wow. So they were like a surprise family reunion. Yes, sir. I mean, it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, though, this this was, um, and, and the way, it, and I got to say, the way God orchestrated this, because we believe in our hearts that God was going to use this, even though there was, like I said, there was a famine in the land. And even though the famine was bad, but God was going to use that to bring them back in uh, relationship with their brother, the one that they sold wow. off, the one that they wanted to kill at one time, the one they wanted to get wow. rid of. But he used this, and, it's, and sometimes we, as believers, we, we miss that. Some mm. things happen, we use that, there's a verse, uh, Romans 8 and 28. All things work together for good. The love of the calling for its purpose. So we got to make, make sure, even though we're going through these tough times, God is using it for our good. Yeah. Now, now, when I look at this second outline, it says, Joseph tests his brother's honesty. And here's what got me. Here's what I, I, I saw. Uh, in that, I think that in verse 18, uh, this might have been a little hit because you made a good point. They didn't recognize him probably because of his garb. His royal uh, his, mm -hmm. his, his, uh, apparel, he made a shave his head, whatever. But but they didn't recognize him. But look at the he gave him a hint. He said this on the third day. This is the he put the brothers in, in jail. On the third day, Joseph said to them, "Do this, and you will live." For I fear God. That's mm. forgot to me because it, we know that in, in Egypt they 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 worship the moon, they worship the yeah. stars, they worship all that's the, good. He says, "I I fear." God, this should have kind of got them going. Wait, wait a minute now. This is uh, this ruler in Egypt. He said he feared the God, God Jehovah. Yeah, yeah. And that, that to me, that that spoke to me. So now he's saying, look, I'm gonna give you a chance because at one time he was saying, look, and you're right. Earlier, he really wanted to see. He had a love for his family. He misses his father. He misses his younger brother. But now, and I think this is God is working this thing out. He's gonna get them to to take what they need because they're they was in the famine. They they needed. Mm -hmm some food, they needed the supplies. He said, look, I'm gonna let y'all go back, but guess what, you can't come back unless you bring your younger brother Benjamin with you. Hmm. And they were, they were, they was, they was, oh Lord, no, not, not this, because now they, they starting to let the, the sometimes there's things under, under wraps, now they're starting to pull those things off because they knew what they had did earlier with Joseph now yeah. is coming back to them. And we, we, we did something bad and, and God wants us to realize Repentance is so important. Yes. Sometimes we just want to kind of get past it or forget it. Mm -mm. God wants us to realize that we got to own up to our mistakes, confession, then repentance. Mm. Uh, one of our dear members, Sister Betty Radcliffe, always lets us know uh, God will stop trying to cover sin and confess sin. You know, mm. we, we want to cover stuff up. We want to we want to try to hide it. No. The, this is the other day. Now they got to confess. But they did wrong, own up to it. And now they got to get, guess what? They got to ask for forgiveness. Because as they go down to the rest of the outline, they begin to realize, you know, I think in verse 22, Reuben says, did not tell you not to sin against the boy, talking about Joseph. Yeah. And they had to yeah. conspire to, to kill him or to get rid of him. He said, did not tell you this was going to happen? See, now they're having, and, and Joseph saw how they were wrathing with this remorse. Yes. And it, it, it yes. says that he kind of, he turned away because he was crying. He, he mm -hmm. saw their remorse. Yeah, yeah. He saw them uh, grappling with this. And many of us, um, when we come to realize, we got to kind of take an inter look at ourselves, introspective look at ourselves, and look, this thing we have covered up, things we have, well, guess we got to peel the covers off it, deal with it head on, mm -hmm. confess it, stop trying to cover it up, confess it, then ask God to forgive us, then we can move forward. Wow. But there was so much, this was powerful. Um, as I do come to the close, this is, uh, let's look at this. He said, now, I'm going to keep one of y'all here. First, he was saying, I'm going to keep all y'all in jail. Yeah. He said, went back to home to get Benjamin. Yeah. Then he yeah. turned thing around. He said, okay, I'm going to take one of y'all here and let 10 of y'all go back. And look how this sister, like he showed love to him. They had brought money because they came. He said, look, they came to buy food. He accused them of being spies. And that was punishment. He could have he killed them. He said, look. 
I'm gonna let y'all go back and I'm gonna give y'all some food for your, because they, they was in a famine, give y'all food for your family. But guess what? Don't come back unless you bring Benjamin, your younger brother. Yeah. And he gave them food. He gave them extra supplies for the travel and their money back. Wow. That, that's, that's God right there. That's love. Wow. That's showing wow. love. So wow. they had money to pay for the food. They, they, they gave them food, gave them back the money, and even, even extra food for traveling. Wow. That's grace. That's favor. Look at God. Wow. That's, that's a wonderful Wow. He's that's amazing. That <laughs> He's worked that thing out. So as it goes, and just don't, don't, but bad about this lesson, Dan, the only thing I want to say is to cut it off too short. Man, I was getting excited. <laughs> cut it off too short. I was going to get to verse 28. But like I said, they got to the point. They was heading back. And even when they saw, they looked in their bag, they saw the money. They yeah. said, they put the money. So now they, they, they say, look, this is something that God is, they, in their mind, they say, God right. is getting us back what we did. But they're remorseful. Yeah. They're, 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 they're saying now, look, yeah, we have good. to own up to this. You know? And that's, that's something that lesson. But it's victorious love. It's showing us that God will work. Like it, later on, I don't get too afraid of myself. But they may have meant something for bad. But God turn that thing around. Yeah. And if we're faithful to God. And, and, and we know we know Joseph's story, how he went from the, I guess, the pit to the prison to the palace. And now he has his brothers right before him, the ones that did him wrong. He could, like I said, he could have let them have it. Like, Y'all get out of yeah, here. Yeah. But he did not. He showed love. And God is gonna work that thing out where he's gonna get you because you really wanna you wanna see his father, you wanna see his brother, you wanna see his younger brother. And this was a great lesson. But like I said, the, the, what I got from this lesson, let's stop covering up sin and let's confess it. And then mm. watch how God move. Watch how God shows. Because that's what God wants. The, the God wants us to have the same mentality that Jesus had. Jesus came to the earth to, to give his life for us. And guess what? Yeah. Think about Peter. Peter denied him, but he's still saying, go tell my disciples and Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Samson. Samson. Uh, God gave his secret away to the Delilah, and and God still, even he lost his eyes, lost his strength, but God still re re restored him. Still. So we on our act, we come to realize, guess what? Let's let's stop hiding, let's stop covering up sin, let's own up to it, confess it, and then let God repent, let God clean us up, and then watch what God do in our lives. This wow. is an awesome lesson, man. Awesome wow. lesson. Now let, awesome. let me let me let me throw this question out there to you because I think there may be somebody wrestling with, you know, well, if I confess it, well, mm -hmm. then people may think differently about gotcha. me. Well, if I confess gotcha. it, I may lose something. Right. If right. I confess. So 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 what 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 do you say to that person who yeah. fears confessing it for what they may lose? Yeah, and that's that's a good point because that's real life. Um, I think sometimes in the church, uh, we have, like, I guess you call it some status. And if we have to kind of confess some things that uh, we're ashamed of, it may bring our status down in our eyesight. Mm. But, but realize the Bible lets us know that uh, in first, first John, I think chapter one, verse nine it says, uh, if we confess our sin, he's yeah. faithful and just to forgive us. See, we, we look at the wrong person. We look at the people. Wow. Should we look at on, God? Man. We should be looking at God because guess what? He's the one. He can cleanse us up. And then guess what? He can bring us back in the right relationship. Because that's what Man. these brothers were missing. They, 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 they were struggling because in their, in, their, in their heart, they knew what they did to, to, to right. the loser. But now God is about to work this thing out. So we're going to have some reconciliation. I love that. Yeah. But like you said earlier, love, love wants to see some, guess what? Some repentance. Love desires repentance before reconciliation. And that's yeah. just like God. When we, the Bible lets us know that um, we come to God, if we ask forgiveness, he's faithful just to forgive us. Yeah. He wants that. He wow. wants that. So, right. Those individuals struggling, and I know we all got some things we're struggling with, but understand this. And like, I think David said that in that 51st Psalm, you know, he says, you alone have us sinned against, you know. Sometimes we hurt people's feelings, but really we sinned against God. Yes. We got to get that right first. Yeah. And, and understand, we, God, I'm sorry. But then, of course, if we have a chance to make that right with our brother, we go and make it right with them. But the Bible says say, we, if you offense with your brother, you go to him. But when we sin, when we make those, uh, those miss the mark, it's because we, we, it's, if we have a, a, a sin problem. So we got to confess it. Get, God, I'm sorry. Forgive me. And then turn, be, repent. Turn from it. Turn wow. from it. And then let God work 
a mighty work in our life. But he wants that. He wants that. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm excited uh, because That's God good. has a plan for our lives. Yes, he does. And, and, and Satan wants to derail that plan. Right. But God has given us everything that we need to yeah. keep us that Holy, his Holy Spirit. Now that part about this, Daniel, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. But you know that in, in that, I think the 41st chapter, uh, Pharaoh said that he saw that the Spirit of God was upon Joseph. Yeah. He said, you know, he, when he gave me the dream, he said, look, you got to make sure that you have someone that can uh, manage or administrate uh, these people because they're going to have seven good years and seven lean years. So he said, you know what? Man, you, you, there's no better man than you. You got the spirit of God to be able to concern what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that lets us know that the spirit, God gave us the spirit to lead us and guide us. Yes. But, but sometimes we do this here. We want to have like a road map. Mm. We want to do things on our own. But God wants us to do Jesus as the, the guide. Yes. You, you, you can have a guide that, that you, you follow the guide, or you can have a road map. And mm. sometimes I think as believers, we want the road map. Yeah. I, I, I'm a, I'm a, no. We need the guide. We need to yes. follow Jesus. That's the Holy Spirit. That's it. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. And listen, I want to make sure, I want to make sure that you all keep studying your Amen. Bible Amen. to have that heart that can forgive yes. and yes. to repent. Your heart got to be worked on and studying the word helps you do that. Sunday school helps you do that. Yes. Watching your church live stream helps you do that. Continue right. to reach out to your church member. Continue to reach out to to your Sunday school teachers, your Sunday school yes, members. Yes, Listen, yes. let's keep the family strong. Let's keep the family strong, and even in the midst of this right, COVID crisis. Right, so we right. we thank you, Elder Brown. And let me ask you, Elder Brown, if people forget everything else we said this morning, what's the one thing you want them to remember? Stop trying to cover sins and confess sins. Confess it to God. Wow. Stop trying to cover it. Because we trying to hide it. But guess what? You can't hide from God. Stop covering it. Confess it. And then repent from it. And watch our God work in your life. Because that's that's what God wants. He wants us to get that, that reconciliation. Yeah. But it got to be repentance first. Damn. Wow. That's good stuff. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.